Hey, Sam. I have some new info you should hear. Recently recovered thanks to your efforts to expand the chiral network. It, um... It concerns BBs. I dug this up on my own, just to be clear. No one ordered me to look. And if anyone asked, put it all on me. No need for you to deal with any blowback. You were just listening to me ramble on the wire, okay? Anyway... It looks like Bridges wasn't the first to bring back BB Tech. It was a group of separatists. Terrorists opposed to UCA expansion, according to the records. They started using them about three years ago. Right around the time Bridges 1 was putting plans in place to head west. Seems these separatists were having trouble with BTs too. And figured that if they could track them, they might be able to steer them into our path. When Bridges caught wind of this, the decision was made to fight fire with fire, to start using BB. It's possible yours was commissioned for that very purpose, a fact I think someone may have tried to conceal. Judging by the absence of BB-28 service, I always found it strange that we were so willing to utilize technology we barely understood. Now we know why. We've been aping methods and techniques employed by others from the start. There's more you should know. It's about the original Bridge Baby experiments. Piecing together what little I could find, it looks like they started around the time of the Death Stranding. They were conducted on the island of Manhattan off the East Coast, which was completely and utterly obliterated by what was almost certainly a void out. Back then, these experiments had the full support and approval of the American government. It's all just guesswork, but I suspect the BB program was conceived to help gain a better understanding of the nature of the Death Stranding. However, due to ethical and safety concerns, public opinion was strongly against the program. Still, they pressed on, and in their desperation to make sense of the greatest disaster of their age, I think they caused another. I should also mention that the President himself was killed in the blast. It was after his death, when he was succeeded by then Vice President Strand, that the experiments were suspended by executive decree. Documents were shredded, facilities were decommissioned, and every effort was made to pretend that BBs had never even existed. Which begs the question how some random separatist group was capable of resurrecting the tech decades later. I'll let you know if I turn up anything enlightening Sam, check the delivery terminal and review the list of orders. The people of Mountain Knot City have a pressing problem that needs to be addressed. A tar-like substance has been bubbling up from beneath the ground near them. They're seeing more of it by the minute, and it won't be long before it spreads into the city. There have already been reports of ejecta inside the outer walls. If nothing is done, the whole city might be swallowed by a sea of tar in the near future. There's an order from Mountain Knot City. Check the details on the delivery terminal.
complete. Displaying performance evaluation. So how do you think you're doing, Bridges? That network you're building is carrying some nasty stuff. Stuff nobody would want anywhere near them. I thought you people would have figured that out by now. We want no part of your chiral network or the UCA. That voice. Is that you, Mama? Uh, you hit your head there, Mama? I'm not yours, and yours is no kind of mother. All right. Enough games, Mama. <laughs> I don't think you heard me, mister. Mountain Hot City is telling you and the UCA to take a hike. You people keep doing what you're doing, and you're gonna put us right back on the road to the Death Stranding. We didn't ask for you to come and tell us how to live our lives. We'll decide that for ourselves, thank you very much. All we want from you is the occasional delivery. Nothing else. So you speak for the city? That's right. I'm in charge. The name's Lochna. Lochna? Hold up, I, I need to talk to you. You're a technician, right? Look, go home and don't come back. Listen to me, damn it. I need your help. Well, we don't need yours, Bridges. You're only making things worse. Sorry you had to deal with that, Sam. She's the boss over there, and she's not afraid to lay down the law. We need her, and we need her people. We've lost too many others as it is. Without Mountain Knot City, the Chiral Network and the UCA will never be complete. What now? So, here's the thing. Sam, Lachna is Mama's twin sister. Former Bridges One, went west with the others. Second group, just like Mama. Mama's not her real name, of course. That'd be Malingan. Both have dooms and both are scientific geniuses. Mama's primary field of expertise is applied physics. Lochna's is theoretical. Mama designed the Cupid hardware. Lochna, the software. They said they could converse over any distance. Said they had a special bond that let them. I don't know how that's possible, but I'll tell you this. There wouldn't be a chiral network without them. They were so close that some said they were like one person in two bodies. Might be why they were able to develop the Cupid. But they had a falling out after Molingen's accident. Lochna left bridges and cut off all contact with us. I don't know what happened between them. But if we don't bring Lochna around, our plans to make America whole again are finished. Not that I'm asking you to stick your nose in their personal business. Though if you did, it might help us figure out how to bring Lochner around. Which would be great, because our plans to make America whole again are finished without her. In the meantime, if you've got any bright ideas, feel free to give them a shot. Good work. Been a while, Sam. It's good to see you. Remember how to do this? You need to close your eyes and picture your destination.
Stretch my legs. Sam, thanks for coming back. Got something for you. These are your new cufflinks. They still work as a terminal, but I've added a weapon function. I was able to redesign everything from the ground up after the last connection. And they're weapons too now. That's right. Cord cutters. I should explain. BTs are connected to the other side via umbilical cords, right? When those cords bring the matter of our world into contact with the antimatter of theirs, boom, void off. But just as Dead Man theorized, your blood does have unique properties. It can be used to cut a BT's cord. So I've added that function. Cut the cord of the BT and it returns to the world of the dead. No BT, no void out. Win win. These things can cut them loose. If you can get close enough without them noticing, yes. Cord snipping, super handcuffs. Right. Let's try them out. Cut the cord connecting us. She's sound asleep. I made sure she got plenty of milk. This world was never hers, but all the same, I didn't want her to leave it, even though she's already lost. Truth is, she's not really my daughter. The attack and everything, that was all a lie? No, that part was true. My ovaries can't produce eggs, and Lochna has trouble with her uterus. Long story short, neither of us can have children. I was all right with it. I mean, <laughs> children, who needs them, I thought. But my sister thought differently. Lochna wanted a child, someone to carry her genes. She fell in love with another member of Bridges, but he died in an accident. She was devastated, of course, as was I. Back then, strong emotions like that, I could feel hers and she could feel mine. When I sensed her desire to join him, to end it, I went to her and said, let's have a baby. We took one of Lachna's eggs and fertilized it with his frozen sperm and I carried it to term. A healthy baby grew inside of me, but then there was the attack and our bond was severed. I wanted to tell her, but I was bound to the child. I couldn't just abandon her, but I was wrong. Lachna needs to know. You have to break some ties to forge others. Can't be tied to everything. 
If we're going to reconnect the world, I need to reconnect with my sister first. So please, Sam. Do it. Sam, would you set me up? I haven't been outside in a long time. It's just too much to take in all at once. Are you sure? I thought you might be claustrophobic after your time in the rubble. I'll be fine, so long as I can see out of the bag. The warmth of the light touch of the wind, the scent of the world. Lucky you. The two of you are still connected. Okay, Sam. Let's go. Surprise prepped in everything. But it looks to me like your hands are full. <laughs> it's no biggie. We can always tweak the rules a bit. not get eaten. Sound like fun? Of course it does.
Thanks for that. Sam. That was amazing, Sam. I don't know how you managed to pull that off. If only we all had your talents.
say? The hospital I was staying at was crushed by a bridge. Still have nightmares about it. Still hear the crack before it all came tumbling down. I've been scared to death of bridges ever since. And, yeah. I know how that must sound considering my employer. <sighs> I'm scared of the dark, too. Don't sleep anymore. <laughs>
where my mother's heart be. Hers. And lock this. We were conjoined twins. share what Lachna and I have. I saw it all laid out before me after I signed up for Bridges. A network that could unite everyone, no matter how scattered or different. And make us whole. It wouldn't be about bringing people into line. It would be about bringing them into the fold, where they would share Share alike. I knew you could change the world. Sam. All weapons will be locked until departure. All well, clear. Welcome, Sam Porter Bridges. Decontaminating soon. Battery low. Please charge vehicle. you in the dark. Try to save her. I couldn't. You don't have to say any more. Lockman, you need to fix his Cupid. I couldn't save our child, but you can save our world. Only you. I love you. You hear me? Forever. And always. Now, make the world whole. Okay? Just like you make me.
All that she went through, I had no idea. I thought, I thought she'd severed our bond on purpose, that she stole our child and ran. I fixed your cupid like she asked. Limiters should be functioning properly now. There is one thing. Before I sat down to work, I took a long, hard look at the code. I'm pretty sure someone's tweaked it. Either that, or my memory's going to pieces. Someone rewrote your code? Rewrote might be overstating it. Let's just say it wasn't the latest version I released. And yet, because of it, I was finally reunited with Malingan. Could be we found our culprit already. She died beneath the rubble, with our child still inside her. Her ka passed over to the other side, but her ha remained bound to our dead daughter. She knew all of this, of course. That's why she kept one cuff loose. Didn't want anyone seeing her vitals. Shame she couldn't use her favorite invention. She did all that to keep me and our daughter safe. Thanks to you, Edgenot City is finally within reach. And you, Lachna. Your work will help ensure that the Chiron Network remains online. Together, we might just make it all the way west. Now then, Sam. There's something else you ought to know. We've been studying the data from when you claim you encountered those soldiers. We had audio, which doesn't paint a complete picture on its own, but... The languages, the names and terms we picked out, the munitions we could identify. Everything seems to indicate that you were on a battlefield over a hundred years ago. World War I, to be precise. It wasn't a dream. Wasn't a hallucination. Maybe you were spirited away to another dimension or something. And given the time discrepancies, maybe you were sent to a beach. Can't say anything for certain. That said, I, I've never heard of a beach turned into a battlefield. But beaches are shaped by the will of the people who inhabit them. Perhaps Hartman can offer a more rational explanation. Beaches are his specialty. Unfortunately, he's still outside the chiral network. Anyway, get some rest. No use dwelling on questions we can't answer yet. <laughs> 